This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Spike Paisley. This design is stitched by first starting with a series of three or four spike shapes. So just kind of create an arch and then go back to your starting point creating these little spikes. Then you're going to pivot and swirl around all three to create kind of a bubble or a pocket or a teardrop shape all the way around them. You can echo that just as many times as you like to expand the shape and be able to get to the area that you want to get to. So if I was right here and I wanted to get to the other side, well, I'd just create another echo. That way I could get to the other side very easily. Of course, the next step is to just simply swirl into your spiky shapes, pivot and swirl around them with a teardrop shape, and then echo that as many times as you like. This has a really interesting texture, a very similar design that we have on the project is called Swirling Petals. Had a lot of comments on that one, so many people like the texture of that design. It's very cute, kind of um, swirling uh, flower petals. But this is a little hardcore. I like this because it looks a little bit more like, I don't know, maybe dinosaur claws or something. It, it's making me think of my son who's in love with aliens and space monsters. So I think it's going to be a really good design to put on a quilt for a little boy because it has that kind of funky edge and it's not flowers or anything frilly. And boys don't tend to like that kind of stuff. When it comes to where you're going to put this design, this will definitely work in any area of your quilt, especially bed quilts. You can make your spikes as big as you like and swirl them around, uh, making your echoes leaving at least an inch or two inches between those lines of quilting, and it will easily fill a bed quilt quite nicely. So here's what it looks like whenever you finish Spike Paisley. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and find more of them at freemotionproject.com.